Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, March 12th, 2024. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific Time. This is episode 806 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, Blossom with Zoe Meng and Li Yunrui shares its first official trailer. Leaked images suggest First Frost, the hidden love sister drama, will star Bai Jingting and Zhang Ronan. Light to the Night with Pan Yuming, Dylan Wang, and Ren Ming begins filming. And Cao Liying, Jiang Qingqing, and Zhang Yimou make a splash at this year's Asian Film Awards. But first, here's what's recently premiered one drama for today and yesterday. Jiang He Zhi Shang, literally translated as Above the Rivers, is a modern drama starring Van Gogh Gao and Cheng Shu. It premiered on March 3rd. According to Baidu, Van Gogh Gao plays an environmental resources judge, and Cheng Shu a court consultant. Together, they crack down on pollution crimes and safeguard the environment. Above the Rivers is slated for 40 episodes. It hasn't been made very available for international audiences. It is available on CCTV Channel 1's website. Others eager to watch it have resorted to unofficial sites as well. That's it for what's recently premiered. In the past couple of days, there have been one confirmed and two rumored drama premiere dates. Ode to Joy Season 5, the modern drama starring Maggie Jiang and Ora Yang, confirmed a premiere date of March 16th. I will speak more to it in my next episode. In Blossom, the costume drama starring Zhu Jingyi and Liu Xueyi is rumored to premiere sometime in March. And Best Choice Ever, the modern drama starring Yang Zi and Xu Kai, is rumored to premiere in early April. I'll keep my eye on these dramas and update if anything official is announced. Alright, moving on, new trailers and pictures. We begin with The Story of Hua Zi, starring Hu Yitian and Zhang Jingyi. Two days ago, the costume drama shared their first trailer. According to Douban, Zhang Jingyi plays the titular Hua Zi, who is forced to support her family when they fall into crisis. She is unexpectedly rescued by Hu Yitian's character, Gu Yanxi, who marries her despite her family situation. The story of Hua Zi's past review in February is slated for 40 episodes and will stream on Youku. Also releasing a new trailer a couple of days ago was Blossom. The costume drama starring Zoe Meng and Li Yunrui was officially announced in January. They haven't announced a wrap yet, so presumably they're still filming. According to Baidu, in the drama, Zoe Meng is a girl who loses her mother at a young age and fights her stepmother to protect the family property. She meets Li Yunrui, an official son who also has his problems with his stepmother. The two decide to get married to form an alliance and overcome their difficulties. This is Li Yunrui's first ever first male lead role. He's done a bunch of supporting roles, most recently he was in The Last Immortal. Zoe Meng's last lead role was in Royal Rumors opposite Jeremy Xu. Blossom is slated for 36 episodes and will stream on Tencent. The last time I spoke about First Frost was back in August last year. The drama has kept things quite secretive so far, but recent leaked images suggest there's been quite a development. First Frost is a modern romance drama based on a web novel of the same name. It is a spin-off and sister drama to Hidden Love, the popular drama starring Zhao Lusi and Chen Zhiyuan. In August last year, after First Frost was first announced, there was rife speculation as to who the lead actors would be. This prompted the drama to release a statement to say, Regarding the many online rumors, we hope everyone will not over-speculate. We'll stick to our original vision of making good content, humbly absorb suggestions from all parties, and strive to present an excellent work to the audience. If there is any confirmed information, we'll make the announcement ASAP. Turns out that would be their last official update for 8 months and counting. However, leaked images suggest that Bai Jingting and Zhang Ronan have been cast and that they've already begun filming. A few days ago, the topic Bai Jingting and Zhang Ronan first frost latest leaks trended on Weibo. In these pictures, the two stars can be seen filming on set. Here, it looks like the two are rehearsing for a scene in a market. Here they are outside the market on a rainy day. 
Additionally, word is that Zhang Miaoyi, pictured here, is playing Shang Zhi, the role Zhao Lusi played in Hidden Love. While Hidden Love revolves around Shang Zhi, First Frost will revolve around her brother, Sang Yan, who was played by Victor Ma in Hidden Love. Speculation is that in First Frost, Bai Jingting plays Sang Yan. Bai Jingting is just coming off the recently aired TV drama, Always on the Move. And Zhang Ronan plays Wen Yifan. Zhang Ronan last starred in the web drama, My Boss. Drama wraps and bootings now, I have a few for you guys today. Born to be the One stars Yin Tao and Wang Xiao. The modern drama shared rap photos on March 9th. Here are the two main leads. While Zhang Ronan may have just started filming First Frost, she also recently rapped on Born to be the One. Here she is on the left with fellow supporting actor Qin Junjie. According to Baidu, in the drama, Ying Tao and Wang Xiao play a married couple who descend into crisis when they become unemployed. With a mortgage to pay and kids to feed, they decide to set up a stall to sell braised goods. Born to be the one is slated for 40 episodes and will stream on iQiyi. The Li Zhi Road is an upcoming costume drama starring Lei Jiaying and Yue Yunpeng. A couple of days ago, they shared photos from their booting ceremony. They also shared this video to introduce the two main characters. In the drama, Lei Jiaying's character is given the responsibility of transporting fresh lychees to Chang'an to celebrate a noble concubine's birthday. What makes the job impossible is that the lychees lose fragrance and flavor in just a few days, and Chang'an is several thousand miles away. Along the journey, a conspiracy involving top officials is uncovered as well. The Li Zhi Road is slated for 40 episodes and will stream on Tencent. In January, I spoke about a rumored drama titled Confessions in the Night and how it would star Pan Yueming, Dylan Wang, and Renming. The rumor has materialized. Now called Light to the Night, the drama officially announced itself and its cast yesterday. It says here Pan Yueming and Dylan Wang, billing by last name Pinyin Order, so P for Pan comes before W for Wang. Here it says Renming puts in a special appearance. They also shared photos from their booting ceremony. Here are the two leads posing. Dylan is sporting a new look, simple and short haircut for his character. Here is one of the two leads with director Wang Zhi, who previously did Flight to You and You Are My Glory. Here is one of the entire cast and crew. It looks like Renming wasn't there on opening day. And here's a video of everyone wishing for good luck. According to Baidu, Light to the Night spans a couple of decades. The story begins with an investigation of a missing father and daughter case. The police assign an investigator and his apprentice, played by Pan Yueming and Dylan Wang respectively, to the case. And in the end, it's the apprentice who outshines the mentor. Renming plays Pan Yueming's rebellious daughter. The drama is slated for 24 episodes and will stream on Youku. Next up for drama updates, Moonlight Mystique recently passed a million reservations. The drama shared a couple of posters to announce that much. Here is female lead Bai Lu. And here is male lead Aoi Peng. The drama passed a million on iQiyi and Weibo combined. They also shared this video to mark the milestone. It shows the two stars taking pictures of each other during some downtime on set. Moonlight Mystique had started filming at the beginning of November last year and wrapped their four-month film shoot at the end of February this. According to Baidu, in the drama, Bai Lu plays a general's youngest daughter who is determined to attain immortality. On her way to seeking it, she accidentally rescues the great demon god, played by Aoi Peng. The drama is slated for 36 episodes and will stream on iQiyi. That's it for drama updates. Before we get to celebrity updates, just to say that this show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. According to analytics, more than half the views on this channel come from non-subscribers, so if you enjoy the content, give the channel a boost by subscribing and liking this video. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to parts like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. Celebrity updates now, and today we begin with Cao Liying, who was recently honored at the 17th Asian Film Awards. 
Here she is as she took the stage to accept her AFA Next Generation Award. She thanked the AFA for the honor and said that it motivates her to work harder. She ended her speech by saying, I love films and drama series. Even more, I love performing. I am actor Zhao Liying. Thank you. Another Chinese presence at the ceremony was Jiang Jingqing, who won Best Actress for her role in Dwelling by the West Lake. She took the stage and delivered an emotional speech. Her director was moved to tears. She thanked Liu Wu, her male lead in the movie, for quote-unquote accompanying her through the heaven and hell that was the film shoot. When she mentioned her lover, Chen Jianping, he stood up and blew her kisses. Lastly, veteran filmmaker Zhang Yimou accepted the Lifetime Achievement Award on the night. He said, I hope this award is not the end, but a starting point. Chasing our dreams, we continue to work hard and tell our Asian stories to the world. Lastly, for celebrity updates, here are some videos that made the rounds on Weibo recently, thought I'd quickly share. Here is Bai Lu posing with headphones at a Gucci event in Chengdu yesterday. She also took the mic and said a few words. The 29-year-old actress took the chance to make a short dance video with fellow event attendee Zhou Keiyu. Here they are busting their moves. Both of them were in last year's drama Only for Love, in which Bai Lu starred with Dylan Wang. Also at the Gucci event was Wang Churan, who turned heads with her leggy getup. Here she is doing some media work. When asked if there was any piece of wardrobe she had on that she would recommend for folks for the upcoming spring, the 25-year-old actress said the gold necklace. Zhang Linghe was at a brand event recently. On March 4th, he was photographed dressed smartly in light blue at this event for SKG. The 26-year-old actor is a spokesperson for the brand which makes wellness devices like neck massagers, etc. While signing his autograph on certain devices, his fans couldn't stop screaming his name and telling him how handsome he was. He had to signal for them to tone it down. And that's it for celebrity updates. It also brings us to the end of this episode. Have a great week, and I'll see you guys Thursday. As always, stay safe, and I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.